Hey, this is Blind Man Bird. I'm kind of doing something wrong in GeoGebra very purposefully. Uh, let me just very quickly say I'm trying to take this uh, representation kind of this cartoon here, which is about, uh, it's making a comment about mathematical dimensionalities. But uh, a bunch of us who kind of really took this apart noticed that the door wasn't quite right in the 2D apartment, and the door and the room weren't really the right dimensions in the 1D case. Uh, to make a long story short, in the 1D case, the room itself should just be a line, and the door should just be a point on that line, which means that you'd have to have like the apartment name be kind of like hanging off by a string with a little play card off of that, off that little point in the middle. You know, it's very early on in my thinking of how to actually accommodate the graphic elements. Plus, a friend of mine said he didn't like to have the hinges the door seems to be swinging to the outside with the hinges on the outside, so he would like to secure those rooms so they were less easy to break into, which I thought was kind of funny. He's a New Yorker like me, so we think that way. But um, in GeoGebra, the funny thing that I'm doing, and this is the wrong thing, the wrong way to do it is to try and represent a perspective in, in terms of perspective. So the way I started out was I actually had uh, two points controlling the lines of perspective. You can see that if you go back to the cartoon, there's kind of like an implied point back here where these things, these lines all line up, right? There's also a point to the right where this line and this line meets up, and then you have these vertical lines here. So that's just the way uh, perspective works in art uh, representations. And uh, A and B control those um, main perspective points, like I say. Then D and C control the top lines. And line J controls the bottom line. And you can see because there's a vertical line here, there's a constraint. And this one is controlled by J as well. So, oh, and then I can also control the, the length of that side right here. Where I think I'm going to start running into trouble is in drawing, I'm thinking of all the things I have to do in GeoGebra to draw the door and the text on the door and so on. So it's going to end up looking sloppy, I think, the more I go in and do it this way. What I like is that the perspective can all be changed. In a sense, the right way to do this, if there is really a right way, would be to model this in three dimensions, either in GeoGebra or Unity or something that's... Um, 3D aware. But in case, I th uh, in any case, I love using um, GeoGebra so much that I thought I'd share this little project that I'm up to. All right, take care.